two people signed up under public comment. The first would be Ms. Maisie Green. Hello, I'm Maisie Green. I live at 205 Heatherton Drive in Covington, Virginia. Um, I just have a brief comment about uh, Mr. Nicely. Uh, Ms. Hill had come to uh, the meeting twice, once in September with a petition uh, requesting Mr. Nicely's resignation. And I would like to know what the board has decided in regard to Mr. Nicely's resignation. Has anything, or are we approaching it in the wrong way? Is there a certain procedure we need to do to get a response in, reg in regard to whether you approve of requesting that he resign or if you would think that he should apologize about uh, telling uh, the article about Kamala Harris? Uh, could we defer to Mr. Gwynn, our attorney, for an answer to that? A legal? <laughs> the board has no, I mean, everybody has a right of free speech, but there is no provision where the board can take any action with regard to something another board member says. Okay, we could have something in regard to Donnie Kern, where um, they had um, requested, the board had requested that he resign. Um, so I'm confused. Mr. Kern is, what I, is what, I, what I am. I know he's a member of the school board, which oh. would be. Mr. Kern is a board appointed okay. by this board. Okay. Mr. Nice is elected by the people. Okay. The board doesn't. Doesn't do anything. By so, elections by the people. So I'm going to ask you something else. Do you have a procedure in regard to like discrimination? Do they have like a policy in regard to anti-discrimination? The board members. Well, the county, the county has an anti-discrimination policy. Does that apply to the board? Certainly in employment and that sort of thing, yes. In employment. So if someone has a complaint in regard to uh, a board member has said something inappropriate or uh, then that's, there's really nothing that uh, the public can do or say or request. I'm not, I mean, I think you're doing that. I, I'm not following you. Um, I mean, there's no purpose in people coming to complain about the board is what I'm saying. Well, just in regard to like Mr. Nicely, his post, or if someone calls you a um, racist term, or if there's a problem in regard to housing, they discriminate in regard to, isn't the board responsible in some ways in regard to approving things for housing? Yeah, but it's not a, that's not, board members don't police each other's free speech rights. And we don't, that isn't part of, um, the state code or the Allegheny County code. Yeah. So you can discriminate is what you're saying. You can say anything you want. The board members can say anything they want to. They're He's subject to election every four years, man. Ms. Green, may I ask? All right, all right. Yes, yeah, let, me, let me, maybe this will clarify okay. it for all of us. Um, are you asking if there's any legal recourse for the electorate? Well, I'm just wondering because I know there was, you know, like Miss Hill, she came with her petition, and I'm just wondering, is there any, is that just silly to do, is what I'm trying to say. Is there any purpose to it? Is there a purpose? I mean, if, if, if I mean, you're not held in it, accountable for any type of discrimination or discriminatory remarks you make, that's, there's no purpose to it. Well, I think we certainly are by our electorates. And personally, and morally, and ethically. So, um, but again, Mr. Gwynn, I'm going to throw the ball that way and ask. Under the bus here. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're the pro, you're the expert here. So, um, does Ms. Green and her group, do they have 
is there a procedure in the Virginia Code that they might follow if they were wanting to pursue this legally? Or even a local code, do you not have a local code? Well, sure, there is a board. I mean, there's, there's a code of ordinances for Allegheny County. Uh, does that include a, Does that include discrimination or? Well, it, our personnel policies forbid discrimination in employment. I, I'm not sure what else I can tell you in that regard now. Okay. Can I interject or ask the question? I think what she's trying to get to is with each elected official right there, there is some accountability there. So, and to remove them from their district, there was a checklist or something that's floating around that is a certain amount of uh, people that is in the district that would have to vote or either have a say so or sign a petition to have him or uh, even considered to be removed or something. Is there some type of code or something about it? There's a checklist or something that Matt had one time when this first started and it explains what has to be done. I think that's what she's referring to. Is a checklist is saying that a certain amount of people in the district that they live in have to sign a petition or do something, then it may end up legally some type of way in the court or something. I think that's what she's referring to. Do you have knowledge of that? Okay. Well, loosely quoting, I think, I don't know which code section it is, it requires a court decision, from what I understand, for an elected official uh, at, in terms of a, a certain amount of, I think it's a separate petition and a certain amount of registered voters signing or something. I, I think. Um, it's been a while since I read that section, but I think it, it's, it's something that pertains toward that. I mean, that code, maybe that code you can refer to, maybe there's another question. Do you know what that is? Not off the top of my head. I mean, I, there may be a, there may be recall provisions and that sort of thing, I think. Mm -hmm. But I think it's going to give us I've some never direction been involved or something with a like recall that. situation. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think it's, that's what she's asking for, some yeah. direction on how to proceed or if they have an option, whether it's win, pass, or fail, or whatever. But as an elected official, is there any type of recourse to have someone removed? I know you can't do it um, here locally. The board can't remove each other. John can't remove them. So is there another recourse that they, and I think that's what she's asking. And I think there is probably some sort of recall. That's probably, what they, that's probably what they need. But I, I, you know, as a county attorney, I'm not the person to give you that advice. Okay, yeah, I, I understand. It's okay. just a question. I just want to know. Yeah. Why don't I give you a little bit more direction? Thank you. That is it. Thank you, Mr. Green. Thank you. Ooh.